Hello guys, I'm Ella and I'm going to, oh my god, I can't even say it, I'm so excited. I'm going to Southeast Asia for, I don't know for how long, because I don't have a return ticket, which is actually insane. So I'm going to be traveling around Southeast Asia, probably around a few months, but it depends on a lot of factors. So I might be staying a lot longer or shorter. We'll just go with the flow. I'm traveling with my boyfriend, Matti. And we are both taking 40 liter backpacks. This is an Osprey backpack. I'm also taking a little backpack, bum bag, like this. I have never done a long backpacking trip like this. Like, I think my longest trip was a bit over two weeks. So this is very new to me, uh, so keep that in mind. I am, as always, trying to be as minimal as possible, but still taking things that make my life easy and make my hobbies. Possible. Although sorry about the echo, we are moving. As you can probably see, we don't have anything here anymore. We sold a lot of our furniture. So without further ado, let's go through everything I'm packing. Let's start with clothes. As I'm recording this voiceover, we have been traveling for about two weeks, so I can give you some insights on the clothing choices I have made. So first off, I have two long flowy bottoms, these blue and white ones. These are a must for hot weather, as they are made of thin material and it's nice to protect your skin from the sun a bit more. They are also great for temples, where you have to dress more modestly. I have two wrap skirts. This one is longer and it has become very handy. I just take it with me when we are walking around and then I can quickly wrap it around me to cover my knees for the temples. This other one is shorter and I think it's gonna be great as a cover-up at the beach. I have two pairs of shorts. These are just a basic pair of stretchy, comfortable denim shorts. However, they have kind of lost their shape here in the wash for some reason, so I'm looking to replace them. These ones are my pajama shorts with a cute ice cream print on them. I have three t-shirts. I wish I had brought more so I could protect my shoulders from the scalding sun more often. Anyway, this one is just a random comfortable t-shirt. Then I have my favorite one, this black cropped shirt with a cute print on the back. Lastly, I have this big t-shirt with a banger print on it. This one I have been wearing as a pajama shirt and as a workout shirt. I have five sleeveless tops. This stripy one I have actually been using only as a pajama shirt. Then I have these green and blue halter necks, this print one and a black one. I only took one dress with me, this amazingly light and comfortable and cute blue flower dress. It's my favorite piece of clothing to be honest. Then let's move to workout clothes. I have three pairs of shirts, three sleeveless tops, one t-shirt and three sport bras. Which is kind of a lot, but for me it has been perfect amount because I want to keep up a consistent exercise routine while traveling because I love it and it makes me feel good. We have been going to the gym, I have done one run so far and I intend to develop a consistent yoga practice here too. And we have also been going on hikes. Okay, swimwear. I have two swimsuits, this gorgeous color explosion one and this black one which gives me bond girl vibes. I have two bikini bottoms, this purple one and a lime one and one bikini top, a simple black one. That I have been using as a bra too. Then obviously I have underwear, so I have 10 pairs of underwear and 4 pairs of socks, plus a woolly socks for when the AC is blasting in the hostel. I have one hoodie, this super old and basic black one, for the chilly evenings. And I have a waterproof jacket, mostly because when we left Finland it was freezing cold, but I might need it here as well. What I forgot to show you in Finland was the shoes that I'm taking. So I have these sandals that are in desperate need of a wash. I'm sorry. They are absolutely gross right now. Uh, these are Tiva sandals. These have been great because they are all like rubber. So you can also swim in this. I've been in the river wearing this. Then I have these trainers, Hoka trainers, really lightweight. I have been running in these, hiking in these. Really comfortable. Those are all the shoes that I have. So that was all the clothes, let's go through my toiletries. I have these two small bags for my toiletries and hygiene and medicine and stuff. I think it's so useful to have everything you have in the backpack, in little bags or packing cubes or pouches, so you have easy access and you know where everything is. Let's start with hair stuff. I have this small box 
And inside, I have my shampoo, conditioner and face wash bar. These are so handy in traveling because they take so little space and they last so long. Also, obviously, they're not liquid, so that's amazing as well. The shampoo is brand Norme, which is an Estonian brand, I think. And the face wash and conditioner are foamy. Really recommend those. I had these in the summer in Italy and India as well and they worked fine. I'm taking one liquid hair thing, so this is the leave-in conditioner that I put into this little bottle. <laughs> then I have a bumble brush and a basic comb that I use when my hair is wet, so I do need both. For my face, I have a vitamin C serum, a moisturizer that I can also use for my body, almond oil in this little bottle. This I can use for taking my makeup off, not that I'm planning to wear much makeup in Asia, but anyway. Uh, also, I can use this for moisturizing my face or body or use it in my hair for some shine and moisture. Also very important, of course, some sunscreen for my face. This is Factor 50. I'm just gonna take this one and buy a sunscreen for my body when I'm already there. A deodorant. This is the only one that has ever worked for me because I sweat a lot. And in Southeast Asia, I assume that I will be doing a lot of sweating. Then obviously toothpaste and toothbrush in this little handy protector box. I'm also thinking floss and tongue scraping thing. Then in this bag I have this plastic bag full of medicine. So here I have some hydrolyte. As I said, I'm gonna be sweating a lot and I just want to be prepared for the first few days and then obviously I'm just gonna buy more there. I also have some painkillers, travel sickness pills because I get very travel sick in a car and if we need to get buses, which I think we do, then I need to be safe. <laughs> Because otherwise nobody's gonna like that. <laughs> nobody's gonna enjoy the experience. I have a thermometer, some band-aids, then I have some glucose pills just for like an emergency if I'm in a situation where my blood sugar gets really low and I don't have anything to eat and you know, just for survival. You never know. Then I just have B12 because I'm a vegan and that is what I need. To take. So the rest of this bag is kind of miscellaneous things. So I have a little bit of makeup. I'm not sure how much makeup I'm going to use, but I just want to take if I'm going for like a night out or something, or I want to feel a bit more fancy sometimes because I know backpacking, you feel a bit sloppy, you're sweaty, and I don't mind. But sometimes maybe I want to look a bit more fancy. So I have an eyebrow pencil, an eyebrow gel. The mascara and then I have this really small and cute eyeshadow palette which is all the shades that I love like brown and glitter and to go with that obviously and what is this called a brush <laughs> then just some hair ties hair pins hair clips nail clippers I always took nail scissors before but they took them away from me in India in the security at Delhi so I had to buy these in India so now I'm just playing safe and taking these instead even though I don't really like it as much, but what can you do? Tweezers. I have lip balm, which has SPF 50 because I have burned my lips and it's very painful. I don't recommend it. In this pouch, I also have a pen, a pencil, eraser, and more of these. What are these called? You know what I mean. I have all my electronics in this bag. So basically here is my mouse because I'm going to be working and also editing when I'm traveling and also Matt is gonna be gaming uh, on my laptop so <laughs> uh, that's useful for him too. Then I just hear like nothing interesting. Obviously all the charging cables for different devices. I have my external hard drive. I have battery bank which is super useful. I have my SD card reader, those kind of things. Fits really nicely in this bag. Well, one thing that doesn't fit in the bag is my laptop battery. But it's just loose in the bag and it's fine. Then some miscellaneous things. Sorry, I'm moving the plant. So I'm taking a lunchbox, which granted does take a lot of space in the backpack, but I know it's gonna be worth it because even though eating out is amazing and obviously I wanna be eating out a lot in Southeast Asia and it is super cheap there as well. I do love cooking for myself and I know that I want some kind of normalcy sometimes when I'm traveling especially because we are going to be traveling for a long time. So sometimes we are going to be cooking in the hostel kitchens or at the Airbnbs we are staying at. So when we do have leftovers, you can just pack your own lunch and, you know, store it here. That's why I'm also packing these two sporks. These came in a set of four, so but is taking two, I'm taking two. And because they're so small, I mean, 
I might as well take two if I lose another one. Uh, here I have also packed a few protein bars. I'm gonna be stuffing this to the brim with snacks for the plane and for the travel. So I'm kind of utilizing the space. I know a lot of people have a collapsible lunchbox, but I was looking online and they weren't even taking a lot less space than this one that I have, which is really thin as you can see. Um, so I didn't really see the point of getting one, to be honest. Then I'm probably gonna be crucified for this, but I'm taking a normal towel, not a microfiber one. And the reason is that, well, I don't own one for one and I have tried one and it doesn't really try you. I just like the feel of a normal towel on my face because I want to kind of like exfoliate my skin uh, when I try it. Um, so yes, it takes more space, but I'm ready to make the sacrifice. Maybe I'm gonna eat my words, who knows? I'm also taking a smaller towel. Um, this I can use for my face or as a sweat towel at the gym or when I'm working out and out and about. Because as we have established, I'm gonna sweat a lot. <laughs> a few more miscellaneous things. So I'm taking this kind of tube, what is this called? I saw this tip in a packing video. I don't remember which one, but the person said that you can use this as an eye mask because I have trouble with, I used to have like a normal eye mask, but it was really tight and I felt my eyelashes like really squished in it. So this is gonna be great. Also multi-use. I don't think I'm gonna use it in any other way than an eye mask, but you know, you could also protect your face with it, who knows. I have a few extra earplugs in this backpack. I also have the ones that I'm using in the bum bag that I'm gonna go through soon. I'm taking a look for hostel lookers and in this random case, I have a swipe for a camera lens. Finally, in this folder, I just have a copy of my passport, a copy of Matthew's passport, just to be safe, um, my vaccination certificate. So I have my lovely laptop which is really light and small, which I do love in this cute baby blue case, which was supposed to be waterproof, but it's actually not, I tried it. My new journal. So because we are gonna leave in New Year's Eve, um, I'm gonna start a new journal because I have one for each year. Um, I'm just running out of space in my old one. So this is a Harry Potter one, as you can see, um, that my mom got me. I usually prefer having dots and not lines on the pages, but you know, I think I'm gonna survive. I do really like journaling and that is like a daily routine for me, almost daily. And I just want to document my travels. So this is very important for me and definitely worth the space it's gonna take. Also because it's stretchy like this, um, it fits a bit better and doesn't weight a lot. I have one lock to lock my backpack. I have two zippers in the backpack, but I'm just gonna lock the one that has my laptop in. You know, it's probably not gonna help a lot if somebody wants to steal my whole bag, but at least let's make life a bit harder for the thieves, right? I have my lovely headphones. I can't go anywhere without these. These are noise cancelling and just perfect when you want your peace, when you're traveling. Also, these are a bit better for editing and working, I think. But a bit controversial, but I'm taking two sets of headphones. So I'm also taking small ones, these JBL ones. I just got these and these are just gonna be so much better when I'm exercising, especially in the heat, because even in Finland when I exercise, these get really sweaty. As you can see, they are quite ruined from my sweat. So definitely these are gonna be more comfortable. Look at that. Of course I'm taking my Kindle, the best, best thing ever for traveling. Like imagine taking a lot of books with you. Like I couldn't fit any books in this backpack, but in this one I can fit everything I want to read. And obviously I have my camera, but I'm filming with it right now so I can show you, but I'm gonna put it in this pouch. Here I also have a spare battery. And of course, wallet, passport. I need to go exchange some money actually some thigh money. Then the last thing, hand sanitizer. I also need to buy some tissues because you never know if there's paper in the bathrooms, you know? Um, also, it comes in handy in many situations. One thing I also don't have right now is period pads. I need to buy those as well. Otherwise, I think that was all. No, one more thing uh, is the rain cover for the backpack. If we get stuck in a rainstorm, then I have some kind of peace of mind that my laptop is gonna be fine. That's it. So, almost done, but the last thing to do is to pack all of this in the backpack. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you, I'm taking a tote bag, this super cute one. This will come so useful for grocery shopping, when I have too much stuff, when we are moving from place to place, I can use this 
and also when I go on the plane I will put here everything else that I need during the flight uh, which doesn't fit into my bum bag so I have easy access to it. Also I forgot to show you arguably the most important thing which is the water bottle. Okay, we need to be quick because we are losing daylight at 3 p.m. which is quite depressing but soon we will be in the sun of Thailand. <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing for the airport, so for the traveling day. It's gonna be a long day, hence comfortable clothes. I'm gonna wear this shirt that I have as a pyjama workout shirt. It's nice and long. Then I'm wearing these light pants, which are really, really stretchy. Then I'm wearing obviously the hoodie. It has been like minus 10 degrees in Finland, uh, now in December. And I'm gonna go to plus 30 degrees. <laughs> it's pretty tricky like what to wear for the airport because like nobody's gonna drive us because it's a long way there. Um, so we're taking the train. I'm gonna wear these clothes and hope I won't freeze to death. I have my woolly socks and that's gonna be the sexy traveling look. So obviously I'm using packing cubes. Packing cubes are life-changing. They are so good for organizing your stuff in backpack. You know where everything is. I have three. In this big one, I will fit most of my clothes. In the smaller one, I will put my sports clothes. And you know, I'm definitely going to buy new clothes when I'm there. So it's good that my bag cubes still have a lot of space, they're not bursting full. The last one is the slim one, which I find really useful because I can stick it in the backpack really easily. And this fits my underwear and swimsuits I'm still adding in some underwear but it's in the wash um, these ones I will wear in the plane so I will not be packing these then the main event is the backpack obviously so this is my dream backpack Osprey what is it called? a fake fan Furby 40 liter this is made for women's bags it suits me really well it's really comfortable and most importantly, it opens the whole way, like a suitcase, which is so life-changing again. <laughs> like you don't have to rummage around to your stuff whenever you want to get like one thing out. You can just open it and you see everything that you have. Here you can see the backpack. First goes the towel. Nice and flat on the bottom. I'm not gonna put it on, but <laughs> you get the gist. Um, I don't particularly like this one, so I'm probably gonna buy a new one if I find one because it's just like a random hat that I bought from a charity shop. Also, it's like um, it has this dent on it, so it doesn't look very nice. But for now, it will do. I need something to cover my face. Like, I'm just praying that I don't burn, but I know the sun is gonna be so, so stark there. There's definitely a lot of space in here on the side, um, so that's great. Also what I like about this backpack is that you have these straps. So first of all, it's not very easy for people to get access to the zipper so they can quickly steal your stuff. And also you can use these straps for attaching your jacket or your hoodie here. I also forgot to say that I'm taking my tripod, my camera tripod, but I'm filming with it right now so I can show you. Wow, I'm so impressed! On the top there is this one pocket where I will put the rain cover so it's easily accessible again. <laughs> and here on the side is a pocket for a laptop, so that will go in there. Okay, now I realized why it was easy to pack the whole bag because I didn't put this in first. <laughs> And now it's hard to get this in. Okay, so I will just lock this one. This is nice as well because you have this side handle, so it's easy to pick up. Oh, that's actually quite heavy. I don't know how heavy that is. I just hope they won't weigh it at the airport. Because if I didn't say, by the way, I'm going to take this as a carry on, so. In the bomb bag goes my passport, my wallet. In this pouch goes my camera and my spirit battery, my Kindle. Headphones, 
other headphones. This one bag has uh, two pockets, so in the front pocket I have my hand sanitizer, I have earplugs and some of these ear things. Um, what are they called? I always forget. Uh, I have one more pen and my phone charger, so this is easily accessible there. Sunglasses in the front pocket and then I'll be done. The journal! I brought the journal. I will put the journal also in the laptop bag. I mean the laptop pocket. What am I saying? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> also, if you're wondering, I don't have a day bag with me. Matti has one, like a smaller bag that we can use when we are walking around. I will probably buy one there if I find that I kind of need it. In the beginning, I think we are gonna be just fine with one backpack, like to share, uh, to take our water bottles and that kind of stuff. Generally, I just don't want to stress about do I have everything perfect because I know I can buy everything there. It's not too heavy, but it's definitely heavy, so I'm a bit concerned. How do I look? So this all I'm carrying is gonna be my whole life for a few months, hopefully a lot of months. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. This is so crazy. Ah! I am so, so excited. I'm go am I going to cry? I'm crying. Okay, we need to stop this video before I cry on the internet. Um, thanks for watching so much. Um, maybe look forward to my traveling videos if you're interested. I will write down below the whole packing list. So if you're interested, you can uh, look there. Um, subscribe, like the video if you liked it. So the next time I'm gonna see you is when I'm traveling to Bangkok.